dispatch my dead body to bulk. Well, that power failure on the second level while uh, Safong Wang Bong Trong are rutting in the tough uh, didn't affect uh, Omar and his followers. Five more levels down, seventh level, there's no light strung down there anyway. And uh, Well, let me uh, paint a picture for you. You've got Omar down there. He's attended by nine pale troglodytes, and they're mostly Afghani who have followed him from Afghanistan to uh, his last uh, hermitage in Turkey. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, no lights down there. They use candles, glass hooded lanterns, uh, known as pale trogs for short. Uh, they've been with him since 1960, when at 93 he went down deep and uh, he's never come up since. Uh, and so have the trucks. They have not seen the sunlight. Whoa, in years. Well, they're comfortable. They're luxurious. I mean, Omar is he's becoming world famous. That's why he he's hiding. Luxurious divans, uh, you got the hookahs, they got gemstones all over them, encrusted uh, with gems, yeah, rubies, sapphires, pearls, uh, emeralds, especially lapis lazuli from Badakhshan in Afghanistan, pillows, bolsters, uh, from Samarkand, I mean, it's the most beautiful, it's like the tomb of Rumi in Konya, the Islamic Ottoman calligraphy, <laughs> oh, the tile work, uh, a few Tibetan uh, tonkas, cobwebbed. How'd they get here? <laughs> you know. uh, well, there is a tantric flair to Omar's whole th scene, yeah. And uh, yeah, the trogs, they're happy to live underground, share the odd gram of Omar's hand and press, best hashish in the world. Presses only four grams a day. Well, lately one gram a day. And these pale trogs, they will only go as high as the fourth level. They go from seven to six to five to four. And there, uh, it's called the uh, the chamber of the fez heads. They go up there, and that's as far as they go. It's a large chamber. Yeah, it's carved out of the pumice tuff, a spacious uh, high dome, high arch dome, frescoes uh, of every uh, marijuana strain in the greater bulk neighborhood near the Oxus River. And uh, the pale trogs meet the fez heads here. Fez heads bring down provisions, food from the, uh, you know, delighted farmers to have a saint a living saint in their in their in their community, yeah. Uh, fez heads, fezes, fezes are hats uh, with a tassel on the top, kind of a pillbox style hat. You may have seen the Masons uh, uh, Lodge; they have these fez hats. Uh, yeah, distinct of fifteenth century. Uh, headgear, yeah, tasseled. But uh, when Ataturk uh, founded the modern Turkish Republic in 1923, he outlawed them. He outlawed uh, women wearing veils. It's illegal. Uh, no fez hats, no veils, none of those madrasa propaganda Islamic schools. Get out of that Islamic court system. Ooh. You know, you steal something, you chop off their hand. Ooh, let's get rid of that. Yeah, Ataturk, modern person. And he even outlawed uh, Ottoman script. They use English letters. So if you're a traveler, you just read the signs in English. You know, good luck in Persia or Thailand, or you know, where they use their native script. Well, um... 
you know, Cappadocia. Since they once they're underground, they do whatever the hell they want to do. They've been doing it for centuries. You got a bunch of pushy marauders stomping over your land. Just go down where it's free. Uh. So they fez up uh, in underground 24-7. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, taking care of Dusty's business with those pale trogs, yeah. You got these seventh level pale trogs, weirdly white, sallow, uh, you know, beyond a whiter shade of pale. They're off the chart. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, too deep underground. Uh, they can't cook food because they can't vent uh, smoke, fire, wood, fire smoke, that many levels up to the surface of the earth. So they're dependent on the uh, fez heads. So let's get together in the chamber of the fez heads. <laughs>